In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, amen. I would like to conclude with a little warning, though, about the sin of ingratitude. All what you say is invaluable if you don't give thanks to God. It is a sin. Our fathers, the saints, say that the one who doesn't thank God is like a deaf and mute man that Jesus healed. He who doesn't listen to God's word and doesn't praise God is deaf and mute. All the other words we say during the day have no value if we didn't say the most important word. Thank you, God. When the rich man complained in hell, Father Abraham said to him in Luke, Remember that in your lifetime you received your good things. The Holy Fathers have said about this that the sin of this rich man was twofold. He was not thankful for the good things he was given, and he did not serve poor Lazarus. That's it. If the rich man had only done those two things, he wouldn't have gone to hell. Ingratitude is a road to perdition. Paul, when he was in prison, received some help from the Philippians. And look what he said, how he was so full of gratitude. In chapter 4, he said, Indeed, I have all and abound. I am full, having received from Epaphroditus the things sent from you a sweet-smelling aroma, an acceptable sacrifice, well-pleasing to God. He then prayed for them and gave glory to God, saying, My God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Now to our God and Father be glory forever and ever. I mean, Paul was very happy and thankful for some small help from them. He always felt that he wanted nothing, so small things cheered him up. This is how the thankful person becomes happy all the time. And glory be to our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, now and forever. Amen.